Have you ever seen text fly on screen like this? Or animate like this? Or seen it like this? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve 19. You do that in Fusion specifically, and it looks a little bit complicated, but I'm going to go over it step by step so that you understand as good as possible. So first and foremost, to enable follower, go to your box, okay? Make sure you have the inspector open and then go to the text box, right click into there, and then click on follower. It will enable the modifiers tab and then you can click on that. We are going to touch the shading and the timing specifically. But so first and foremost, let's go to timing. What we want is for this text to come on the screen from the left side. We want it to be in the order of left to right. And then we want the delay type to be between each character. And then you can choose a delay of one second. And it's kind of weird that the position is under the shading tab. We're in DaVinci Resolve 19, but the position for this is in the shading tab. It doesn't make sense. So you'll have to just remember this. You will see that there are diamonds next to these parameters. And we want to mess with the offset because this allows it to move left and right. You can see that I'm moving this left and right, but it's not doing anything on the viewer. And that is because you have to first click on a keyframe and you have to also highlight the text. So what I normally do, this is just my order of doing things, is I will highlight the whole thing and then I will click on the keyframe, okay? It will bring up this path that you don't have to touch right away. You can change this if you wanted to, but I usually just leave it the way it is. Go back to the follower and then I will now move this off the screen to the left, okay? Now I will go to frame 10 and I will center it back up by clicking on zero and enter. That's the default. And what I wanna do next, and this is gonna be the final touch on this simple animation, is open up the spline tab right here in the top right corner next to uh, keyframes. And then I'm gonna check on the text one, okay? I'll even expand this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna just kind of get some more real estate. Now I can do Command F and then Command A to select all of my stuff. So Command F will basically just zoom to fit to see everything all at once in one shortcut with Command F. And then Command A will select everything. And then you can click on S to smoothen the curves. And if S does not work for you, because maybe your keyboard shortcut is not set for that, Go ahead and click on this guy, which is going to be the smooth button, and then that will automatically do what I just did. Now you can close out the spline, okay? And then you can bring the viewer down. And all I really did was smoothen out the animation so that it eases in and then eases out. That's what it does. So now let's take a look at what this looks like. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to actually just kind of get rid of that like little highlight there and then also that too. And then we can see it without any of that. And it looks pretty cool, right? Isn't that a sweet animation? I love it. So it's really awesome what you can do with this thing. Let me show you another different animation. Like I will go from up to down. Okay, a little bit different. So now it's a lot slower and you can see what it looks like there. There's so many things that you can do with the follower, but that is the gist of what the follower can do. It lets you do an animation with a delay. It's nice, it looks cool, and it's fun, it's different. And you can change the order from automatic to left to right, right to left, outside in, inside out. There's, there's like eight options, and then you can change the delay type from between each character to first and last character. Just for funsies, I am gonna show you delay 25. This will be interesting. Oh my goodness. Look at this. One letter at a time. <laughs> it doesn't even, it's so slow, it can't even do it all at once. Look at that, that's funny. So let me do 10, maybe that will uh, show it all at once. But you, <laughs> you can see how crazy this can get. 
It can like it barely finished it in time. That is how you do the follower in DaVinci Resolve. The text follower is another way to animate and the spice of doing it is you can have a delay, a delay type and the order of that delay. Or you can have no delay or you can have a negative delay. To show you a negative delay, I will do that. And it's kind of interesting. It kind of just like does it in reverse. Like there's already text there and then it just follows it up with the rest of the text. So it just completes it with a few letters. And uh, don't forget, you can turn this follower on and off to see the comparison. You can reset the whole thing or you can just straight up remove it, okay? So there you go, the follower, very, very cool. I hope you learned something. If you did, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will answer to the best of my ability. And without further ado, I will catch you guys next time.